here to start we have one non Orihime team with 5 out of 5 Max Defense Oko, with 5 out of 5 Attack Ishin, and with Tsukishima that's gonna fly like nothing. So let's see. Orihime 1 versus 3 versus 5 out of 5 Ishin. Let's see how they're gonna resist. Wow, Jesus Christ, 2 or 3 nuts and destroy a whole team, that is insane, Purishin man, 5 or 5. Here we have 3 or 5 Yama, 5 or 5 Yuha with defense, 5 or 5 Saijin, that 5 or 5 defense Yuha. Wow, that could be hard to defeat it, here we go. <laughs> She killed it, everyone. Yep, just not, not, not. And the 5 out of 5 Yuha Baja defense resist a few more, but don't. So, one more. 1 out of 5 Ishin. 2 out of 5 Yama. 5 out of 5 defense Yuha Baja with dodge. And max damage taken. That's a very interesting one again. Here we go. Solo Hime. Let's hope that not gonna flash a step and gonna use the nuts. Come on. 60k of stamina have the Yuha Baja, man. Come on now, not Amazing. Amazing is broken! <laughs> Here we have another interesting 5 out of 5 team with Aizen, that's not gonna do anything because we have invincibility, Yuha Baja here with last ditch and 5 out of 5, and also 5 out of 5 Yama here with dodge and some damage, so should be an easy win. <laughs> It's time. Nice. Was hard. The team was hard, but we did it nice on the last seconds. Very nice, Hime. 5 out of 5 Yuha Baja, 3 out of 5 Ishin, 3 out of 5 Sajin. Should be another easy win. Just depend on that. If the Ia flash a step, lose the seconds with super big damage to destroy the enemies. If not, flash a step and just not, destroys everyone. Like now, 2 or 3 nuts, and the job is done, Obarida. Like 6 nuts and destroy all the team. <laughs> nice, here we have a 5 or a 5 Yuha Baja, a normal Sajin, 2 or a 5, and then a 5 or a 5 Kuriya Shiki, very interesting one. So here we go, one more! Nice. Now, come on, nut, nut, yeah, nut, 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 Obarida. <laughs> So here we go, here we have 5 out of 5 SP Aizen, here 4 out of 5 Ishin, and 5 out of 5 Tsukishima. This should be an easy win for Orihime. 1 out of 5 Orihime, 1 versus 3. It's still very insane. Long time since I did that, man. Very nice, very cool. Come on, Hime, start the destruction. Bim, pam, boom. Nice, was close. The Ishin resist very good. So yeah, the way to counter Orihime is defense, guys. The way to counter that super crazy big damage Orihime, it's literally defense. Ishin or Chad. Chad is the other way, for that reason I saved this battle for the end. Because 5 out of 5 max defense Chad is the way to counter attack Orihime, because Orihime cannot kill the Chad on the 10 seconds and then Chad later just finish it. So I'm gonna share with you that after this battle. The way to counter that Orihime, but let's do the last battle versus 4 of 5 Chad. Maybe the chat can, can counter me because I have the damage taken and all, and also have the attribute to resist, so it's like Ishin, but kind of better in defense terms, like a better rock, resist more. I have it now, so yeah. So as I said, the way to counter the is chat, and I'm gonna share with you one video of my friend that have a 5 out of 5 max defense chat, and he completely counter Rihime, ladies and gentlemen, Rihime cannot kill a 5 out of 5 max defense rock chat. And this is what I wish to share with you because Orihime is broken, as you saw, 1 out of 5 Orihime, 1 versus 3 max attack, and just 1 out of 5, it's super insane and it's super broken and can destroy a lot of full teams and 5 out of 5 teams like Yuha Baja, like Yama, like Somishin too, not always, depend on the Hime what gonna do, but remember that you don't need to play Hime alone, you can play Hime with the team. The only problem, the serious problem versus Orihime is Chad and Ishin. Mainly Chad because it's a very very good rock and resists so much. 5 out of 5 Chad with defense is just pain. And then Ishin. A good Ishin also can counter Orihime, mainly with defense, with damage taken and all. Because remember, the damage taken and the defense is what make you to receive less damage and is what you need to resist the 10 Orihime seconds, the Orihime new skill, the persistence. Here with 5 out of 5 rock Chad. 
you just counter him and I'm gonna share with you. But cheers and thanks to my friend Sepran that shared that chat, that rock chat 5 out of 5 with us. So hope that you're gonna enjoy it, that PvP content. Remember to smash a like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rock chat that counters on email. Thank you, Sepran san Souls, PvP, Brave Battle, Orihime, Meta, Mita, the best character, ladies and gentlemen, for PvP, Crazy 1 vs 3. Orihime 1 out of 5, 1 vs 3, destroying the teams, man, destroying 5 out of 5 units like Yuhabaha, like Yamamoto, like Ishin. So 1 out of 5 Orihime, ladies and gentlemen, is able to destroy 5 out of 5 teams without Orihime on the other team. Because Orihime new skill, the persistence new skill is super broken and allow you to resist some seconds. So if you build Orihime with good damage, like this Orihime with max attack, here literally max attack accessories, max nut and broken links, 5 out of 5 Nell, 5 out of 5 Abirama with max attack and also the next skill, the bonus ability as attack. Same on Kaname but not 5 out of 5. So the attack of Orihime is really high, 85% of Bruiser, big low stamina damage. The bonus ability is Pierce Barrier and Lower Stamina because it's extra damage and also very important to pierce the barrier of all enemies and not care and just destroy everyone. And then during the seconds of the Persistence Orihime destroy all enemies, if not Flash Step because the EA, the auto gameplay, the PvP gameplay sometimes is very very stupid and just Flash Step, then Orihime sometimes die, but remember we are playing just 1 versus 3, so if you use Orihime in a team that I'm gonna share with you also, in that video, Orihime in a team, showcase with a full team, it's a monster, Orihime is just a monster, this is the reason why we can do 1 versus 3, and I'm gonna share on this video that Orihime build, the Orihime Gide, and also the way to counter Orihime, because Orihime is the best character on PvP, but we have a ways, a characters that Orihime cannot destroy, Max Defense Chat for example, Power 1 it's a rock and Orihime cannot destroy it, so it's a ways to counter Orihime nowadays, and I'm gonna share with you on this video. Hope that you're gonna enjoy Orihime, the new Queen of Brave Battles Showcase! So I wish to share with you two a normal team, Orihime in a normal team, not only one versus three. And here I have Orihime with the same build, literally the same build that we saw before, Max Attack, Max Nut, with the same bonus abilities, low stamina and Pierce Barrier, all same like before, but in a team, with 5 out of 5 Ishin, my 5 out of 5 boy Ishin here, Max Defense Build, Max Damage Taken, is what I use to try to counter Orihime, with here good damage taken, but also some nut, it's not just max damage taken, because this camp chilling 5 out of 5 is OP. And then my 5 out of 5 Ishin here, with attack and defense, bonus skills, yeah, that's my build for Ishin. And then later you have Aja, 5 out of 5 max transcended with the same build, it's not max defense, it's max attack, because I am using for guild quest, max defense should be better to resist on Ishin, and also on Yuha Baja to resist Hime, but I have a attack build because it's good too, it's not bad at all. So I am doing good damage and my two characters 5 out of 5 resist a lot with the defense build, max damage taken for Yuha Baja. Here you can see an insane damage taken, 76%. And Ishin still have a lot of attack, but I still have 72% of damage taken with very good defense. So yep, both have very good defense, just not the max one, because are not max rock links, like a max defense chat, that is what I was saying, to counter. But it's still very good characters and help a lot in a team with Orihime. As I said, to counter Hime properly, you need a max 5 out of 5 rock defense, if it's Ishin or chat, it's the best chance, but also Tatsuki or other units can work but mainly the power characters, the power attribute is the key. Here we have a 5 out of 5 Orihime, so let's try to counter that 5 out of 5 crazy attack Orihime with my Ishin, and then also destroy the other characters with Yama and Yuhabaha. So here we go, let's see if my Ishin can counter a few, that 5 out of 5 Orihime, or at least resist a few, and how gonna work my, my 1 out of 5 Orihime. 
here on the side. So yeah, Dr. Hime it's done. The other team is done. The point is that she destroyed my Ishin, my Yuhabaha. And then my Orihime take the soul bomb. Good job, Hime! Here we have a less strong Orihime, just 2 out of 5. So let's see if Ishin can counter that Hime. It's not the best build, but I suppose that can do a good job. And here also Yama and Yuhabaha, not 5 out of 5. So this should be an easy win for my team. But let's see how gonna work Ishin 5 out of 5 versus that Hime 2 out of 5. Here we go, Ishin! Let's get attention! Oh! Yuhabaha paralysis my Ishin. Yuhabaha they have now with Yama. Only Orihime. But Ishin resisted the Hime, by the way. I mean, the Hime not killed my Ishin. So, my Ishin resists the 2 out of 5 Hime all the time. Good job, Ishin. Very nice. Very interesting battle here. 3 out of 5 Orihime. So, we're gonna try to bring our Ishin versus that Hime. My Hime versus Tsukishima. That is here. 5 out of 5 Suki. And then my Yuhabaha versus that. Kempachi 5 out of 5 that should destroy it like nothing. Let's see how gonna work Ishin versus Hime again. 3 out of 5 for Hime this time. In a very good team. So let's see. Okay, Ishin resist right now. Good job, all the team is done. And yeah, Ishin resist. Very nice. Victory is ours. So that's all for the showcase, ladies and gentlemen, Orihime, easily the best PvP unit nowadays in game, mainly for the new skill, the new skill that we got on Orihime, that persistence skill is super broken, because remain you some seconds and do super big damage, but that super big damage is still a way to be countered, as I said, with a 5 or a 5 max defense chat and power characters like Ishin. So remember that you have a way to counter, and also a new counter of PvP Orihime should drop on future, probably in some months, maybe on the 9th anniversary, maybe before, but should drop a new PvP unit, probably with persistence, or with maybe break the persistence, something like prevent brave battle healing, or prevent ignore brave battle invincibility, something like ignore brave battle persistence, or prevent brave battle persistence, or maybe just another new unit with persistence. We will see, but by now Orihime is a monster, I share with you the max attack build and the way to do super big damage with the new skills persistence, also the several ways to counter Orihime, because it's interesting if you have 5 or 5 chat, it's easy to counter Orihime, with 5 or 5 vision, if you build on max defense 2 on max attack, it's harder, but still it's a, a way, as you saw on my runs, on my normal team. So I hope that you enjoyed the PvP showcase, all the information, builds, skills, accessories and everything. Remember to smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed that video. And that was the Orihime showcase. Gonna be more PvP showcases, more brave battle videos in the description, like SP character showcase, Yuhabaha, Ichigo, etc. And other content like PvP tier list, top 10, etc. So I hope that you enjoy it, we are Breachy Brave Souls and Orihime Boba is the new queen of the PvP! I'm so happy about it! Kampai, because a ranged unit, Flurry plus 2, amazing boba, a woman, it's an amazing new meta, very very different, so I enjoy it so much. Hope that you enjoy too, we are Breachy Brave Souls, bye bye! Bye bye! Yo, Kosso, Watashi no Soul Society.